Good morning. Good morning to all. Good morning. Good morning. Wherever you are at, good morning to you and your family. This is Miss Coco Bowden of UGA Gospel Storm and also Kiba Advancement, iHeartRadio Podcast. Y'all, it's truly a blessing to be on the air this morning. I haven't been here in a while, but I thank God for this morning. And today I would just like to encourage you to exercise your prayer life and also exercise your, your faith. Exercise your faith in God. And my reading today is going to come from, it's going to come from a small passage that's here in um, our daily bread book. I find that these books are very helpful when it comes down to navigating through life. You know, you get to hear folks testimony of what they have been through and how they overcome. And I know for a fact that hearing someone else's testimony can help bless your life as well. It truly can. So today in... It is Friday, July the 20th, and this um, little section is called Home Sweet Home. Why do we have to leave our home and move? My son asked. It's difficult to explain what a home is, especially to a five-year-old. We were leaving a house, but not our home, in the sense that home is where our loved ones are. It's the place where we long to return after a long trip or after a full day's work. When Jesus was in the upper room just hours before he died, he told his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. John 14 and 1. The disciples were uncertain of their future because Jesus had predicted his death. But Jesus reassured them of his presence and reminded them they would see him again. He told them, my father's house has many rooms. I am going there to prepare a place for you. He could have used other words to describe heaven. However, he chose words that describe not an uncomfortable or unfamiliar place, but a place where Jesus, our loved one, would be. C.S. Lewis wrote, Our Father refreshes us on the journey with some pleasant ends, but will not encourage us to mistake them for home. We can thank God for the pleasant ends in life, but let's remember that our real home is in heaven, where we will be with our with the Lord forever. First Thessalonians 4.17 Dear Lord, I thank you for heaven, my, in, my internal home. Today's reading was John 14, 1 through 14. I am going there to prepare a place for you. Having that in mind that he has already told us, be encouraged. I have a place for you. Don't worry about the pitfalls of life that may come upon you. Don't worry about the things that are going wrong in your life. Don't be negative. Don't dwell on negative situations. Don't dwell on negative things. Don't dwell on negative people. In order to um, be appreciative of the place that God has for you. You have to have space in your heart for God. Instead, start cleaning out the clutter. Anything that's not like God or anything that hinders you from being more and more like Christ. Those are the things that you need to work towards on today. And repent. Repentance is, is very important that you repent for all the things that you have done wrong, even the things that you may be unaware of, to create space in your heart for the home that God has for you so the Holy Spirit can dwell inside of you. So I'm encouraging you on today, if you are seeking something from God, if it's a prayer life, pray. Just pray. Just talk to God. Communicate. If you are seeking a little bit more faith, increase faith. Begin to pray for increased faith. If you are in trouble financially, begin to step back. Step out of your situation. What would you do if it was someone else? What would you advise someone else to do? Step back. Come up with clear solutions so that you can live the quality life that God has given us. If it is your children that's in this in despair and they are causing turmoil to your heart pray for your children to come in alignment with what god says about them as well guide your children teach your children be an example a light 
to your children in the mighty name of Jesus. So today I pray that wisdom and knowledge may fall upon you in whatever area that you are seeking in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your day will be blessed and that you will realize that this is not our home, but we are just passing by in the mighty name of Jesus. I also pray that you will begin to seek new things to do each day. Seek new daily treasures that the Lord has left here for us on earth to help us navigate through the good times and the bad times. Celebrate others. Get out and and find people who are doing better than you, who are also greater than you, so that you will have a challenge that always pushes your mind not to settle, but to keep going forth until we leave this home one day and meet our um father. Do what you can do and have the biggest capacity to love others and to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.